Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today we will be painting acrylic clouds using Arteza acrylic paint set, which I am so excited for. I was gifted the 60 premium Arteza acrylic set, which is so freaking gorgeous. I absolutely love all the colors and this is such an awesome student grade set to have. Arteza was also gracious enough to give you all a 10% off discount code if you are interested to get these yourself. This code is valid until July 24th. I will for sure be using these acrylic paint sets and I am not just saying that for the sake of this video, but you will genuinely see me using these in many of my videos to come. So yeah, I will only recommend products on my channel if I use them and I love them. I will also be using these Arteza canvas panels for today's video. As you may know, I love painting with panels all the time, so this was a no-brainer for me. This comes in a set of 14 and they are 5 by 7 inches. Again, all these links will be in the description down below with your 10% off code as well. Um, any wide flat brush will work for the background. That part is not really important. Just use whatever you have. Um, for the clouds, I will mainly be using this number six round rough brush and also a number six fillboard brush for smaller sections of the clouds and then a thin brush for the moon and the stars. Okay, and these are all the paints I will be using. Everything will be linked in the description, so be sure to check there for any specifications. Okay, so before we begin today's painting, I wanted to first go over just some basic cloud anatomy, if you will, okay? So, like all shapes, nothing is flat, right? Even though it may look like a cloud for the most part is just white it is not so let's break this down into three different layers you've got your dark tones your mid tones and then your very light tones now depending on where the light source is hitting you would want your very light tone to be in that direction followed by your mid tone and then your very dark Okay, so to begin with your darkest shade, I am using some blue, white, and gray. You can also use black if you'd like. I'm also using a rough round brush. Just lightly tap your brush to get the shadow part of your cloud. Adding some more blue and white will give you your mid-tone. Now to blend this, simply wipe off your brush dry on your paper towel and then move it in circular motions to blend those two colors in between. In this case, my sunlight is coming from the top, so I will lay out my white at the very top. And then you can keep going back and forth to achieve the look that you're happy with, um, but now you get the general idea. This is by no means the only way to paint clouds, by the way, but this is just a good basic technique uh, to learn. We do have a reference photo in today's painting. I will link the picture in the description. Feel free to use that if you would like. And if you do paint this and would like to share this with me and others, um, the link to my private Facebook group is in the description. For the sky, I am using Prussian blue, phthalo blue, violet, light apricot, crimson red, white, gray, and black. I will also pull out some red in a bit. Like always, all the paints I use will be listed in the description, so if you want to ever double check to see uh, the names specifically, just always check the description, everything will be listed in there. Okay, so to begin with our darkest layer, I am mixing some phthalo blue, black, and white. 
Looking at the reference picture here, I am just mapping out where my darkest shades go and lightly tapping my brush on the canvas. I will be changing up the composition slightly of this reference picture that we do have, um, just because I I wasn't too happy with the composition, I, so I'm just going to be filling it up accordingly to the size of my canvas. Moving on to the second step, which is our mid-tones, I play around with a bunch of colors to get the right color that I like. So I am using um, conchinal red, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, some of the light apricot, I also pull out an Indian yellow and a tinge of violet. exact same technique as I showed you in the earlier example in the warm-up exercise. So once you lay out your mid-tone, uh, you can then blend them slightly by rubbing off your brush dry. That's important, make sure it's dry. And then using that same brush to blend the two colors together. Now I know in the beginning we talked about having three step layers, your dark, your mid-tones and then your light, right? Now to increase that complexity of this slightly, you can have different values in these three steps as well. So within your initial dark tone that you set, you can have various dark values of that same color and you can get that by adding some white or black to that initial dark tone that you have. So that is exactly what I'm doing here. I added some white to the existing blue that I have to create this bluish gray tone and adding that in places here and there. Now let's move on to the very light tones. I am using the same colors that I used to create my mid-tones, but except adding a bit more white this time. using two brushes here um, simultaneously with light and dark tones because my acrylic paint was already dry and I was unable to blend my light peach tones at the top so having some darks underneath it at the same time made it easy for me to blend hope that's making sense but basically I just needed some paint to activate my peach tones so I needed something wet um, right beside it that way I could blend my peach As we're coming to an end here, I am just moving the composition around slightly, lightening up a few sections here and there, 
and just adjusting a, a few bits and pieces. Using a thin brush, add in your moon and a few stars and you'll be left with a beautiful dreamy painting. I really hope you guys enjoyed and learned some few basic techniques when it comes to painting clouds. I would love to see this if you want to share it, so the link to my private Facebook group is in the description down below along with your 10% off coupon code for all these Arteza paints and canvas as well. Do not forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll catch you next week. Bye guys!